I still have in my mind some of my early encounters with blue whales. For some years, I joined Diane Gender, a woman that has studied blue whales for over 20 years in the Gulf of California. Some females come to these waters to give birth. It's here where the giants are born. They can still hear the deep sounds when the whales take air in the surface. It's like the earth is breathing. I am an artist and I have used photography as an environmental tool for more than 25 years. Now I found that using the human body to create an art piece have a more powerful outcome. It took me more than a year to come up with the idea to create a piece for the blue whale. I, I wanted to show the, the scale of the largest living creature this planet has ever seen. For that purpose, I, I need a large number of human bodies to draw the silhouette of this marine mammal. It was essential to, the, to, do, to do this in, in the water, in the natural habitat of this creature. I chose the month of October because the waters in the Gulf of California are warmer and more clear. We sailed from La Paz and it took us about an hour to get to the shooting area. At that time, I, I wanted to photograph each one of the 59 participants. I want to have a portrait of each one of them to give the human blue whale a face. While I was shooting these portraits, their eyes were amazing. You could see their commitment. They were happy and ready to do it, to take their clothes and speak through their bodies on behalf of the blue whale. The image I want to produce for the human blue whale was an underwater undertaking. This was my first time 